Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and I'm going to show you a method of texturing a ground plane. We're going to use a few different textures to put some snow, some grass, and some rock. Alright, I'm going to go to my desktop. I've got a few textures here that I downloaded from www.sharecg.com. I have a ground texture, or a grass texture rather. I have a snow texture, and I have a rock texture. I go back into Maya. I'm gonna go ahead and select my ground plane. I'm gonna go ahead and name this ground plane. Delete the history. I'm gonna go up to my polygon menu set, create UV menu, planner mapping options box. Let's go ahead and just do edit reset. And I'm just gonna do a projection from the Y axis. Project just to make sure our texture looks halfway decent. Okay, we need to tell Maya where we want our snow textures to show up. We need to tell Maya where we want our grass to show up and we need to tell Maya where we want our rock texture to show up. So let's think of this as layers. We want to start off by adding our dirt layer or in our case it's going to be rock. So we could make this whole plane rock and then on top of that we could put some grass and then on top of that, we could put some snow. So in the real world, if you had grass in your yard and it was the snow, the snow would be on top of the grass. So it just makes sense to put the grass on the top layer, and then the the snow on top, the top layer, the grass on the next layer, and then the dirt or the rock on the very bottom layer. So that's how we're going to approach this. The way that we're going to tell Maya where we want our textures to appear is by using alpha maps. If you don't know what a map, an alpha map is, it is basically just a black and white image. Everywhere that the image is black, your texture is 0% visible. Everywhere there is white, your texture is 100% visible. And likewise, if you had some gray, it would be like 50% visible. So we're going to use black and white image, kind of a grayscale image, to tell Maya where we want our textures to appear. And we're going to start off with the snow. So let's tell Maya where we want our snow to appear. Before we do that, let's go into our Hypershade. So I'm going to go to my Windows menu, down to Rendering Editors, over to Hypershade. In our Hypershade window, if you've never used this before, you've got a bottom area down here, it's a work area. Over here on the left, you'll see some nodes. You'll see our materials. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create three different materials. So I'm going to click the Lambert button. I'm going to click it again and one more time. Now this work area, you can navigate the same way you navigate in your view panels. So we can zoom out, we can pan, and we can't rotate since this is 2D instead of a 3D workspace. But you can definitely zoom, pan, you can select a node, press the letter F on your keyboard to frame in on it. You can press letter A to frame it on everything. So just like you were in a view panel, you can navigate the same way inside this work area. All right, we've created three materials. I'm going to double click on this Lambert 2. And the attribute editor, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to try to avoid using pop-up menus since you're probably not going to see them on my computer because of my settings. All right, so in the attribute editor, I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it alpha snow I'm going to click on Lambert 3 or double click on it and after we edit I'm going to name this one alpha grass and then this third one I'm going to name it mat underscore ground so our ground material or actually to make it a little bit easier let's just name this mat underscore layered texture. Alright, so this right here is going to be our layered texture that we're going to use. And these two, this alpha snow and this alpha grass, the only purpose I created these was to create a black and white image. A black and white image for our snow to tell Maya where we want our snow to appear and a black and white image for our grass to tell Maya where we want our grass to appear. And we're going to use these two images over here in our layered texture. All right, so what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and finish this layer texture. Then hopefully this will make a little more sense to you. So this Lambert that we just created, we named it Layered Texture. 
over here in this left hand column I'm gonna scroll all the way down till I get to other textures here we go there's a section called other textures and I'm gonna click on the layer texture button so when I click on this it puts this layered texture in our work area I'm gonna connect it to our Lambert our layered texture material over here the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to put my cursor over this layered texture I'm gonna press and hold down my middle mouse button and then I'm gonna drag it over to our layered texture material I'm gonna let go of my middle mouse button a little pop-up menu will show up and I'm just gonna click on color C-O-L-O-R. So now if I double click anything in this work area it will bring up its attributes. So I'm just going to close out my attribute editor completely. So if I was to double click on this material it's going to open up the attributes for it. If I double click on this layer texture it's going to open up the attributes for it. I'm going to click on the material and if you look over here in the attribute editor you'll see the color and to the far right you'll see a button normally it has a checkerboard pattern on it but this time it doesn't and the reason being is because we plugged in that layered texture node into this color attribute so if I click on this button it's going to take me right to the attributes for that layered texture so that's all this is so I just kinda of want to show you how all this is these are connected alright I'm going to bring up the attributes for this layered texture node. Over here in the attributes, you'll see a color right there. It's colored green, and it's got a little box underneath it with an X. That's one layer. We can add more layers simply by, by clicking anywhere next to it. So if I just click over here, just left click, it creates another one. If I click again, it creates another one. So now we have three layers for this texture. So I click another one, another one, another one. So we can create as many of these layers as we want. If you want to get rid of one of these layers, just click on the little box underneath that layer with the X on it. Just click on it, and you can delete those. All right. We want three layers. We want a layer for our rock. We want a layer for our grass and a layer for our snow. So we want three layers. So I've got three layers there. To make this a little more easier for us when we start doing our texturing, let's give these different colors. All right, the way this is going to work is the layer to the far left is going to be on the top. The layer to the far right is going to be on the bottom. So we want our bottom texture to be our rock. So I'm just going to click on this bottom layer. Right below it, you'll see color. I'm just going to click on the color swatch, and it brings up this window. I'm going to choose a color to represent our ground. So I'm just going to maybe choose kind of a brown, a brownish color. Except, and you can make it any color you want. These colors mean absolutely nothing. All we're doing is just kind of color coding to make it easier to see what's going on. I'm going to click on this next layer up, which is going to be our grass layer. It's already green, so that's fine, just like it is. I'm going to click on the top layer, which is this far left layer. And I'm going to change the color to white, or maybe even a light gray, it doesn't matter. I'll just change it to white, and click Accept. That's going to be our snow layer. So now you can see that with these colors, we can tell that this is our snow layer, this is our grass layer, and this is our, our dirt, or in our case, rock layer. All right, so just to clarify all this, we create, created three Lambert materials. We created one so that we create an alpha image for our snow. We created another one that, so that we can create an alpha image for our grass. And we created one that's going to be our final texture that we're going to use. But we need three layers for it. So we created this layer texture node. All we did was clicked on this layer texture node over here in the left-hand column. And then we just middle mouse dragged it onto our material and plugged it into the color. And then we created three layers over here. And all we did was just change the color of each of those layers just to color code it. Just to give us a visual sign of which layer is which. And we wanted our ground 
to be on the bottom layer, so at the far right. We want our snow to be at the very top, so we, that's at the far left. 